welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is shrimp burgers. I've been trying to get through uh, quite a bit of our requests for different uh, dishes and this is one and, and it's absolutely delicious and I'm sure everybody will agree when you go to make it. And of course the main ingredient is shrimp. So now what I'll do is tell you a few of the ingredients that I'm going to be using in this dish. Um, we're going to have two cups of shrimp. You can have cooked or uncooked because you're going to be frying the burger after anyway. So it, this here is just very small, medium sized shrimp. We got a small onion chopped, uh, one clove of garlic. Um, we're going to have flour, this is for rolling our burgers in, salt, pepper, egg, and some uh, breadcrumbs. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a, a small food processor for this one because I need for my shrimp to be chopped. Now afterwards we can combine it all together, but uh, bear with me because as you know, if you watched my videos before, I'm all about um, doing things just with utensils and my hands. So, so what I'm going to do first is just give the shrimp a little chopping and then I'll take them out. Okay, so we're just going to pulse this uh, food processor. I just want to chop the shrimp. I don't want to have it all blended. Now, what we will do next, we're going to add in a pinch of pepper and whatever amount you like. If you like it spicier, you can add it. And again, as I would say in all of my clips, if you like something else in this instead of what I, I'm putting in, you go right ahead. Um, Newfoundland is known for just salt and pepper, so I'd like to stick with that. And we're going to add in one egg. We're going to add in our clove of garlic, and that's optional as well. You don't need to put it in if you don't like garlic. Four tablespoonfuls of bread crumbs. And go stale bread if you can do it, because that's better. And we're going to drizzle in about a tablespoonful of olive oil. You can eyeball it, or you can put it in your measuring spoon. And pulse this again for just a couple of seconds. And then what we'll do now is add in our onions. And we're going to be adding in a small chopped onion. Now I don't have a very big food processor. You might have a bigger one. This uh, serving that we're making here is going to be four burgers or four patties. And uh, so let's put the lid on now and pulse it again. So again, I'm going to turn on my processor, just pulse this in. If you don't like onions, um, and I know some people that don't, uh, you can use onion powder. If you don't like garlic, you can use garlic powder. Okay, so that's chopped enough. I'm going to put this into a dish. Okay, so now let's take our shrimp mixture out of this food processor. Let's bring out this little machine. And take all of it out of there and now what we're going to do we're going to form this into uh, medium-sized patties and then um, I'll show you we're going to roll it into flour okay so what you can do now you can just mix it all around just to make sure that everything is uh, incorporated and then break it into uh, four pieces because you want four of them equal right so you're going to break it like this and when I say break it, just cut it into four pieces, you know what I mean. And then sprinkle some flour on a plate. And you can also top it a little bit more with some salt and pepper. Or again, if any flavors that you would like to have, that's fine. So let's take out one portion of it. And you just roll it like this to make a patty. Same way you would do with a fish cake or if you're making corned beef cakes, and again, all of those are available on Bonita's Kitchen website. So I'm going to make another one, and this, the shrimp in there is chunky, and you want that, you want it a little, so that you can actually taste the texture of it, and it's going to look something like this. This is a perfect um, meal for summertime. And right now, we are in summer, so this is great. So it's the second one. I'm going to continue on making the other two, and then we'll start frying. 
Now I get to four shrimp patties made. I got my hands cleaned. Um, I'm getting my skillet heated up. I'm using a cast iron frying pan, which is my favorite to use. Um, so just to let you know a little bit about those shrimp burgers, um, adding the garlic in is my little twist to it because I love adding garlic to everything. So what we'll do now, I'll show you how we would fry them. Okay, so we're going to be adding in about a tablespoon or a tea teaspoonful of oil and some butter. And you can eyeball it, you can use a, t a tablespoonful or you can use what you would like. We're going to add in each patty, shrimp patty, into there. You leave it about two to three minutes on one side until it's golden brown. You don't want to flip it until you can see, you can look first if you don't want to flip it too quick. Oh my, it smells absolutely amazing in here. And when you start making yours, you're going to see the same thing. It's got to be done on a skillet. You don't want to try these on a barbecue unless you've got, um, you know, something there to protect them from falling down through. And another little tidbit of information. Move it around a little bit in the pan because you've got different hot spots in your pan and you want them to cook equally in each side. This is coming along really good. Another minute and I'm going to flip it. Okay, so now I'm going to flip over my first one and do it gently because it's only cooked on one side or all of the ingredients there. If you're using um, already cooked shrimp, um, you won't have to leave it so long, of course, cooking, but you still want to have it nice and golden brown. So even if your three minutes is up and it's not golden brown, you want to make sure you want to turn up your pan a little more or you just leave it and let it start golden. This is what it's starting to look like. Isn't that delicious? So if um, you just let, like I was saying, just let them keep frying until your golden brown um, and if you need to use another little bit of oil I'm going to use just a little touch there you can if you don't need to use it just continue letting it fry in your cast iron frying pan or your skillet okay our shrimp patties are done so what I'm going to do now is take them off put them on this platter so that you can see what they look like and then I'm going to put two of them together with just regular hamburger buns and I'm going to have a side of vegetables but you can serve whatever you like with yours and then I'm going to top before I do that with a little bit of lemon and this is what they look like so before we get started putting our burgers together I'm going to tell you the sauce that I'm going to use for the burgers is about a tablespoon or two tablespoonfuls of Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, whichever. And I'm going to be using the same of cocktail sauce. The very thing that you would use if you were putting out a shrimp platter and you wanted for people just to add that sauce, you mix it around. At this point, if you want to add any other flavors, you can, but it tastes as good just the way it is here, like this. So what I'm going to do now is get our buns ready. I can't rave enough about this um, shrimp patty and what will be a shrimp burger. It is so delicious. I mean, this will be your new summer favorite once you start making it. And it's super easy to make. So that's our delicious sauce we made put over our bun. Now what we're going to do now is take one of our patties first and as equally as golden brown on the bottom and put on one and then put on the other bun. And I'm going to top it with homemade onions that I just did recently on a taping and you can find that on my website. Just take out nice al alpings and put on each one and top it with a little bit of lettuce. You can use as much or as less and then put your buns on the top and this is what you're looking at. Absolutely delicious. Okay, what I'm going to do next is cut one so you can see what it looks like in the middle and remember you can serve this with 
fresh vegetables, you can have fries, you can have just fruit. But whichever way you decide on doing that, it's going to be delicious. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And this is a good close-up to see what this nice juicy shrimp burger looks like on the inside. Absolutely delicious. So I hope you found this episode of traditional Newfoundland shrimp burgers helpful for you today. I'm thinking that this traditional Newfoundland shrimp burger is going to be one of your favorites this summer and you can also make it into winter because you're not doing it on your barbecue. Remember to make sure that your shrimp is thawed before you start it because you don't need that added water. Remember you can dress this burger up whichever way you'd like to do it. I'm going to be posting my uh, recipe with this uh, video on YouTube. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just follow the prompts as you see them. And visit us again on www.bonitaskitchen.com. I hope you found this episode of Bonita's Kitchen helpful for you today for shrimp burgers. From my kitchen to yours, thank you and you have a wonderful day.